your share of speaking. Um, but I want you to share the online audience watching, those that are here watching, and share want, with them um, what, what are you feeling at this moment? Well, I'm honored that everybody is here um, just witnessing such an amazing moment, not just in my life, but I believe also in just this ministry whole. Um, it really means a lot to me. Um, I, at the same time, I'm also kind of speechless. Uh, he definitely just put me on the spot. I was not prepared uh, for this moment. I'm usually a little bit more savvy with my words, but um, I'm, I'm truly humbled by this opportunity um, to be able to even be in this position I'm grateful to God. I take this ministry serious. I take the responsibility serious and I'm looking forward to the days ahead truly. And I know that I have an amazing support system with my family, um, our church family, our friends, um, those who have been a part of this uh, church in one way or another over the last 15, 20, 30, going on 30 years now. And I'm really humbled by this opportunity, truly. Amen. Well, come on, give God some praise. Well, I'm going to ask you to get on your feet. We have our installation of pastor. Um, is that on the screen or, or do you have a copy? I want to make sure. Okay, so you can follow uh, the screen. And so, Pastor G.J., you can follow the screen as well. Everything is going to flow from there. Lift up your eyes and look on the fields that they are ripe for harvest. Congregation. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Congregation. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Congregation. Have you, Pastor elect Gary Hawkins Jr., we know you as Pastor GJ, prayerfully considered the responsibility of living and preaching the gospel and have you weighed the work involved and the sacrifices you may be called upon to make? I have. Do you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, and that the scriptures are the word of God to make us wise unto salvation through the faith in him? I do with all my heart. Are you motivated not out of desire for position or earthly gain, but by the love of God and of your fellow men and the wish to glorify him and save them? I am. Will you strive to build up the church, the body of Christ, to prepare God's people for works of service, to labor for the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of the Son of God? I will, as God gives me strength. Will you endeavor to live a life of love within your family and the community and draw others to Christ through your example as well as by your word? I will make it the purpose of my life to live for Jesus Christ and I ask your prayers and the prayers of the church to help me in this ministry. Therefore, by the power vested in me as bishop, I now ordain you as pastor of Voice of Faith Church. From this moment forward, you shall be known as Pastor Gary Hawkins Jr. or affectionately called Pastor G.J. Have you, members of this Christian assembly, carefully considered the qualifications of this deacon and deaconess, or in this case, this pastor and pastor for the work of the ministry as a servant of Christ? Are you satisfied that they will be a worthy messenger and representative of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you willing that he should be installed as 
an ordained pastor. Elder Mitchell, come forward with me. Congregation, stretch your hands out. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come thanking you for all that you do. Insight, successor, leader, pastor, authoritative. God, thank you. But God, I, as I anoint him, God, as successor, I ask you to anoint his head and anoint his heart, God. The God that he leads with his head, but he loves with his heart, God. And God, give him the wisdom and the ability, God, to lead, to love, to serve, to preach, to teach, to admonish, to discipline if necessary. But give him the ability to do it, God, while they knowing that he loves them. Cover him, God, from the top of his head, his family from the top of their head, all the way to the sole of their feet, God. He's blessed and highly favored. We honor you and we praise you and we present to you, God this awesome godly man back to you. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Voices of faith, I present to you Pastor Gary Hawkins, Jr., Pastor G.J. Come on, put your hands together.